Hello, my name is Blake, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the importance of rsync and Syncrify. So Syncrify uses rsync to compute the delta or change in data between one version of the data and the next. Specifically, when you back up with Syncrify, you only actually transfer the difference between the previous version and the new version of a file, whereas with other backup software, you would transfer the entire file. So in this example, we have two matching files, one on the server machine in the repository and one on the client machine. And now on the client machine, I'm gonna make some small changes to the file. In green, I've modified some of the text and in red, I've added additional text to the file. When the backup runs, Syncrify will break both documents down into blocks and compute the checksum. Syncrify will then compare the checksums and determine exactly which blocks need to be transferred to the server. Once the blocks arrive on the server, Syncrify will rebuild the file to match the client's copy. You can also see how well rsync is working for you from within the client itself. In this demonstration, I have a 500 megabyte file here, and I'm going to make a very minor change to the file. Now most backup softwares would transfer all 500 megabytes, but not Syncrify. We can right click on this file within the client itself and select block diff. So what this is going to do is break down the file into blocks and compare them at the same time, which you can see it doing here. And when it finishes, it's going to give you some very useful information about the file. For example, in this case, we can see here that 826 blocks are non-matching and that only 5.9 megabytes need to be transferred. We can also see how long it took to calculate on each end. So in this example, the client took 35 seconds and the server took 5 seconds. So now I'm going to do a comparison between a small change and a large change to the same file. I have a 300 megabyte file called largefile.mp4 that I've changed 10 megabytes worth of data since its last backup. So we're going to do a block diff to see its delta. And as you can see here, I've modified 10 megabytes of a 300 megabyte file and we're only transferring about 12 megabytes. Now let's take the same file, but instead of only modifying 10 megabytes, let's say we modified 100 megabytes. Again, I'm going to right click the file and select block diff and wait for my results. So in this case, we modified 100 megabytes of a 300 megabyte file, and we can see that our delta size is only 101 megabytes. So you can see that with rsync enabled, we are only transferring the modified portion of the file. So just to recap on what we've talked about, rsync calculates the delta or the change in data of the file. When the delta is transferred from the client machine to the server machine, it is only transferring the delta and not the entire file. And if versioning is enabled, this will only store the delta. So rsync can save you both network bandwidth as well as storage space if you decide to maintain multiple versions of files. Block diff is a file level feature within Syncrify Client itself. This feature allows you to see the delta for individual files as well as other information related to calculating it. 